Pixar's Lightyear has now dropped on streaming, so I finally got around to checking it out. I'm glad I didn't want to pay admission for this because I have to say, it is not great. A little backstory first, I am a huge fan of Toy Story and I've enjoyed all the movies since I was very young. It has proven itself as a truly legendary franchise and I have no doubt my nostalgia is not misplaced. Toy Story 4 was decent and serves as somewhat of an epilogue but was certainly lacking when compared to the previous movies. It was apparent that it was time for the franchise to be put to rest. That is, until once again, Disney and Pixar decided to defile the grave of a beloved franchise and released a strange type of spin-off in the form of Lightyear. Lightyear is supposed to be a movie that exists within the Toy Story universe and features the character of Buzz Lightyear that the toy is based upon. It acts as an origin story for the character in general, and there are many reasons why that sucks. But for starters, I will say that the animation is gorgeous. Of course, one could say that this is low-hanging fruit as this is to be expected from Pixar. Their movies always look great and even the older ones can stand the test of time. With this movie, I enjoyed the designs for a lot of the spacesuits and costumes and all the little details in the space scenes were very well done. I enjoyed the scene where Buzz reaches hyperspeed. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but it looked very similar to the Stargate sequence from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Unfortunately, the setting of this movie is actually quite boring. Not much gets to be done with it visually. The entire movie either takes place on a barren planet or a plain spaceship. This is unfortunate as there is really a lot of potential for a Buzz Lightyear story. I recently praised Marvel's space films for their unique locations, but despite also being an interplanetary based film, Lightyear fails to deliver anything super cool. Something that surprised me while watching this movie is just how much of the plot just fucking sucks. Buzz and his partner Alicia are on a mission to scout a planet for a colony ship. And in short, Buzz makes a mistake that damages the ship, leaving everyone stranded. As they attempt to make repairs, Buzz must try to test hyperspace fuel as for some reason it is essential to their rescue. Because space travel is funky, Buzz lands after a flight to discover it is now four years in the future and everyone's still there. He continues to do the test until eventually 80 years pass but the colony is still stranded. This leads to a huge plot hole as Buzz and company still work under Star Command and this was a major mission. You're telling me that 80 years pass and not a single person went looking for this group of people? There's like hundreds of them. Was nobody able to send out a distress beacon or SOS signal during all this time? It's so incredibly stupid, the movie fucks itself in the first 15 minutes. When Buzz is finally done time traveling, he finds that the planet has been overrun by Zerg's robot army. He teams up with a group of stragglers, all of which are pretty much incompetent, and the plot goes exactly how you would expect. Buzz pulls the old routine of not wanting to work with them, the team slowly becomes slightly less useless as they overcome their obstacles, and then he likes them in the end. Everything in this movie is so watered down, but the water is shit. Buzz is a lame and boring character. He lacks all the personality and charisma you expect from the toy version. Some would say it's my fault for going into the movie thinking he would be just like in Toy Story. But why wouldn't I? They're supposed to be the same character, right? His team is comprised of people that really can't seem to do anything to the point where I found myself getting frustrated. Each of them seems to be extremely unremarkable in their own way and lack any sort of depth. They're supposed to teach Buzz that he can work in a team with new recruits, but to be honest, I think he could have handled this himself. The exception would be Sox, a robotic cat. I expected him to be the cute character made to sell toys, and while that may be true, Sox managed to be very helpful and was the most likable character in the film. But worst of all, they ruined Zerg. Spoiler alert here, because I'm about to ruin the big moment of this movie, so skip ahead a little if you don't want to hear that. I have to say, I loved Zerg's design from Toy Story 2. He was a really cool character to me, and I went into this expecting some sort of supervillain. He is supposed to be the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn number one enemy to the Galactic Alliance after all. Yeah. Well, get this. Not too long after he's introduced, Zerg is revealed to just be a mech suit, and on the inside is... Old Evil Buzz Lightyear. Like, a senior citizen Buzz, corrupted by his urge to complete the mission no matter what. Apparently, Buzz's hyperspeed test created an alternate universe Buzz. Somehow. This makes no sense, and it doesn't matter in the end, because Zerg is barely a conflict and is dispatched with minimal effort. This twist is so incredibly dumb that it actually just pissed me off. So much potential was there for an epic space adventure, but they just threw it all away. Now there is some good in this movie. It's there. I mentioned the visuals. I mentioned socks. There were some action scenes that were appealing as well. When Buzz is time traveling, there's a very nice montage of him watching his friend live a whole life and have a family. This was my favorite part of the movie. 
The payoff is he eventually comes back after a trip, only to find that she's died of old age. This was very well done, and I'll admit it got an emotional reaction out of me. It was the only evidence left that a good movie was in there. I also appreciated how while you do get the expected fan service from a movie like this, it's not as in your face as other origin movies or prequels. They often leave no stone unturned and explain everything. Thank god this didn't pull some shit like Solo did and feel the need to explain why his name is Buzz or something like that. The most you get is what you'd expect, some familiar character quotes make it into the writing, and of course he has his iconic wings and wrist laser at some point. While the movie did make me irrationally angry, I've seen movies that are much worse. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, and not even the worst Pixar movie, that title still goes to the good dinosaur. I could potentially see someone enjoying this. It just really wasn't good. It could have possibly been more acceptable if this was an original space adventure that stood on its own, but for one reason or another, they slapped Buzz Lightyear's name on it and killed it. This movie is a shitty origin for the character. It's made even worse because when all this is said and done, we already have a Buzz Lightyear origin. It's hard to get your hands on, but Buzz Lightyear of Star Command The Adventure Begins is a great origin story and handles the character outside of being a toy. It does the same group of misfits plot better, but with a more likable team that proves their usefulness several times and has depth to their characters. Both it and the TV show that spawned from it has a bunch of unique locations and characters. Zerg is an actual threat and a great villain too. It's fun and silly, but still good and very entertaining. Unfortunately, the TV show has never had an official release, and the pilot movie is only available on long, out-of-print physical VHS and DVD. But if you can find a way to watch it, it's certainly much more worth your time than Lightyear. Now the last thing about this movie I want to talk about is how it screws up its own existence. The movie starts with some text that's like, In 1995, Andy received a Buzz Lightyear toy. It was his favorite movie. This was that movie. There are so many reasons why this bothers me. On the surface, it takes away from the fact that Buzz was just a cool hot new toy. Now he's just based on some movie. That beginning text implies that Lightyear is also a movie from 1995, yet the writing and characters all seem very modern. It doesn't feel like a movie Pixar characters would have watched in the 90s. In fact, the actual 90s Pixar movies are superior to this one meant to be from the 90s. In Toy Story, none of the toys knew who Buzz was. If this was Andy's favorite movie, the toys should have been familiar with him, but it was never established. And if this movie was so big to have an extremely popular toy made after it, why are none of Buzz's teammates on the toy shelves too? Surely Sox would get his own figure or at least come with Buzz. Why does the Buzz and Zerg design from the in-universe video game not resemble the movie but rather the toys? Zerg's arm blaster isn't even on the correct arm. How do they mess that up? It's their own character. They had to look at the original design to make the new one. Of course this movie has been the subject to controversy over featuring a lesbian character and a kiss. Don't worry I'm not gonna get all like anti-gay or like anti-woke Disney on you guys. The representation is cool for sure. Honestly, out of all the gay characters Disney's been getting press for, I feel Alicia is actually the best one. She has plenty of screen time, and her romance is focused on in the movie, yet treated completely normal and seamlessly put into the plot. It's great. I love it. Now once again, this is supposed to be Andy's favorite movie from 1995. Honestly, a gay couple just wouldn't have been in a kid's movie from 1995. I wouldn't have brought this up, but I challenge you to go ahead and name one. You can't. It was exceptionally rare in movies geared towards adults too. Representation is a hot topic of today and is still being fought hard for, but it was even harder to get back in the 90s. It wouldn't have been in the movie at all, let alone spawn popular toys, shows, and games. Also, gay people deserve better. Why put your best representation so far in your worst movie? Bottom line. The representation is cool and very well deserved, but it's another example along with all the others I mentioned that they clearly didn't care enough to even try and make it fit in with the narrative they wanted to craft for this movie. The worst part is, they made it even harder than it needed to be. Just don't make it a movie from 95. It's a Buzz Lightyear reboot from 2022 that a grown-up Andy takes his kids to see. The toy spawned the show in the games, which led to a reboot movie years later. The timeline adds up. There, I fixed it, and I'm just some dude on the internet. Overall, Lightyear is a painfully average movie at best, but is one of Pixar's worst. It has some good in it, but I can't lie, the movie sucks. 
It's plagued by a generally boring plot, lame new characters, and bastardizations of familiar faces. It just comes off as incredibly lazy and dull, devoid of any effort or care for the story. A cash grab. Watching this movie being a fan of Toy Story and Pixar in general just ended up making me angry. And I even liked Turning Red. All I have left to say is if this was Andy's favorite movie, he had shitty taste in movies. I hate to do it, but trash this one. It's just not worth it. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for my review of Lightyear. I hope you liked watching me get irrationally angry at a animated movie, and if you would like to help support me, please do me a solid by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you feel like doing a little extra, you can always sub to my Patreon for early and exclusive content as well as different merchandise for each tier. Love you guys, I'll see you all next time.